Hi, this is going to be a short video about how to make corrections in your GarageBand audio if you make a mistake. This is what's known in the uh, in recording business as punching in. So this is a recording that I've already made and we've used it uh, before in the video where I showed you how to make a GarageBand video and I will just play it once for you and I'm going to tell you right now when we get over here there's going to be a mistake that I'm going to want to fix. But let's listen to it. Alright, maybe you heard it, maybe not. Um, if you just look at the waves here, you can even sort of see what's going on. In my first part, uh, there's supposed to be th three notes here. There's one, two, and then this third note. I can even see that it didn't come out the right way. So I want to correct that. What I'm going to do is make another recording and replace the new recording, uh, replace the old recording with the new recording. So I've already created a third track. I'm going to use the third track to do my correction. There's a bunch of different ways to do this, but I think this is the easiest one. And I'm also going to pinch uh, and slide to make this bigger. So I want to move this into the area that I want to correct. And I'm just I'm going to um, just make this area a little bit larger because it's going to be easier to see. What it's going to do is record from where this cursor is. And I think I might just back it up because I'm going to be able to edit this however I want. So by giving me a little bit more space, uh, I'll be able to work my way into the song. Now when you do this, you'll want all your recording set up to be the same. You'll want your tuning to be the same. And I'm doing this on a different day, so it's possible this won't sound exactly right but if you do it at the same time as your other recordings you'll be more likely to fit this in the right way all right let's uh, let's just give it a try here I'm gonna select my third track and I wanna record to this track <laughs> So it's always a problem if your corrected track is still a mistake, but the nice thing is we're just going to keep doing this over till we get it right. Okay, I think I have something I can use there. So normally you would use your headphones to get a clean recording of that. Uh, extra track with no extra sound in it. All right, this is the area that we're trying to replace right here. And what I'm going to do is just cut that part out for right now. I'm going to back this up. All right, and I'm going to double tap on the first track, and I'm going to hit split, and then I'm going to slide this. Uh oh, it moved. I'm going to slide that down so I've made a cut there and then I'm going to move this over a bit further and I'm going to make another cut there because this is the part that I'm switching around. So double tap, hit split, slide that down. All right. And at this and then the rest of this I can just shrink in, I can just um we're going to cut that out, delete. All right, now I'm going to go to my third track that I just recorded, and I'm going to resize it. I'm just tapping on it, tapping on the edges, and I'm going to slide it over. So now I've cut out this part, and I've replaced it with this part. Let's just hear what it sounds like. <laughs> And there it is. I've taken out the part that had the mistake and replaced it with a better version. Okay, hopefully that helps.
and enjoy working with GarageBand and making multi-track recordings.